Hello and welcome to this video on installing Oracle Express. So in this video, I'll show you how to download and install Oracle Express on a Windows computer. First of all, open up an internet browser. Go to the Oracle website at oracle.com. Once the page loads, you'll see something like this. To download Oracle Express, you'll need to go to the menu icon here. Now, depending on when you go to the website, the layout might have changed a little bit, but there should still be a menu available on the website. So go to menu and then go down to downloads and trials, and then go to database, and then go to Oracle database. The Oracle Database download page will appear. First of all, you'll need to accept the license agreement that appears at the top here. Then we'll need to scroll down to find the version we want to download. At the top, we have the full versions of Oracle Database, which is 12C release 2 at the time of recording. We want to skip past this because we don't want to install the full version of Oracle. If you want to install that, you can check out my other video, which steps through the process of installing the full Oracle database. But for now, we're going to scroll down until we see Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. Now the version number might be different depending on when you visit this site, but we're looking for the Express Edition. There are two versions, one for Windows 64 and another one for Linux 86 and Windows. Now, because I'm running a 32-bit version of Windows, I'm going to choose this version here. But if you're running a 64-bit, you'll want to click on this one at the top. Now, it takes me to a few different download options here. I'll need to accept the license agreement again, and then specifically choose which Oracle database edition I want to download. In this case, I'm going to click on the 32-bit version here. After you click on that link, you'll be asked to sign into your Oracle account. If you don't have an account, click on create account at the bottom. I have an account, so I'm going to sign in. Once you've entered your username and password, you can then download the Oracle Express installation file. Depending on your browser, this might automatically start in the background, or you'll be asked to save it to a specific location. I'm going to choose to save it to a specific location. At the time of recording, it's about 300 megabytes and it took me about five minutes to download. So now I'll just fast forward to the end of the download process. Okay, so now the Oracle Express file has finished downloading. It contains one zip file, which you can extract in Windows by right clicking and selecting extract all or using a different option if you have a different zip file tool installed, such as WinZip or 7-Zip. I'm just using the built-in one. I'll leave the default path here and click on Extract. The files will then be extracted to the folder. In the extracted folder, open the folder called Disk1. Then open the file setup.exe. This will start the install process for Oracle Express. If you get a user account control message, click Yes. In a moment, the wizard will start. Click Next on the landing page here. Accept the license agreement and then click Next. Here you can change the installation folder. I'm going to leave it as the default and then click Next. Here we have to specify the passwords to use for the sys and the system accounts. Enter in a password that you want to use, but make sure it's something you remember, because you need to remember it when you log into your database for the first time. Enter it twice and then click Next. Review the summary here and then click on Install. The Oracle Database Express Edition will then be installed. After the installation has finished, which takes about four or five minutes, you'll see this screen. Click on Finish to complete. Oracle Express has now been installed. To check the installation, we can run a command prompt. To test the installation, we'll need to run SQL Plus and logging in as Sys or System. You 
you can see I've logged in here as system, entered my password, and the SQL prompt is then displayed. This means that the Oracle database was installed successfully. To exit, type exit. And now we've exited the Oracle database. So that's how you can install Oracle Express for use on your own computer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with the Oracle and database videos that I release. Thanks for watching.